about to present to you tonight involves first and second grade puppeteers in two classes and a uh, 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 third class, third through fifth grade. They've all been working separately. They have never rehearsed together before. So what you are seeing is a kind of world premiere improvisation. Okay? Based on a wonderful Italian folk tale, tale called La Bafana. Hands, if you've heard of it. Ta-da! Oh, well, yeah, you have. Okay, La Bafana is one of those stories that starts out pagan, drifts into Christianity, and then goes all over the map. So, since we are celebrating the winter solstice and the holiday that so many cultures have built around the orbit of the sun, or the moon, or the earth around the sun, <laughs> She's a teacher. <laughs> I welcome you all to this wonderful story in a search for a sacred child. All right. So, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, yes. We're going to start that way because it's a good way to start. We don't start like that. Once, once upon a time, way up over in Italy, in the hills, in the mountains, there lived an old lady. That's her. She was very, very old. In fact, she was so old that some people said, you know, she's like the old earth goddess, you know, she's kind of a witch and she's just a kind of, you know, but you know, who believes in that anymore? Eh. She lived with a little dog. All the Italians have that little dog, you know, obnoxious little dog. <laughs> the dog's name was Pedro. Pedro, what are you gonna say? Good dog, good dog. And she had a little house way up there in the hills, you know. So, you know, she's so old, she's wrinkled, she's ugly, you know, she's got a big nose. So the kids, you know, who live in the village down in the, you know, down at the bottom of the hill, they like to sneak up the road, you know, and hide in the bushes, and then they would, um, they would jump up out of the bushes and they would yell. The fun is a witch, the fun is a witch. Yeah, Pedro, you're 
right. All right. She had never seen this star before. This was a brand new star. <coughs> she says something important is happening. <laughs> this is a brand new star. I never seen this before. Something gonna happen. But the star fade and set. But do a little dance first. <laughs>
in. The next kitty lies up on a drive. Oh, man. <laughs> it took a while because they had to gas up. He fell asleep. <laughs> there, here we go. Here it comes. Yep, you can you can smell the sulfur in the air. There it is. Oh, a dragon. Oh, Bafana was pretty impressed with this, you know. And the king and she said, What do you want? And the king said, I don't understand you! I don't understand you! Mafana said. Get out of here! I'm busy! I gotta sweep the road, I gotta clean the chimney, I gotta polish the stars. I'm busy! Go away! But the fact is that Mafana did understand. She could tell that those kings wanted her to come with them. She could tell those kings were looking for something, and she knew it was a child. They were looking for some sort of child. And she said, no, I'm too busy for this. But then she began to think, oh, I don't know, maybe I did the wrong thing. And her dog, her dog, where's my dog, she said, where's my dog? But her dog was trying to push her down the road. <laughs> Bafana, she turned around and she said, Hey, what am I going to do? You want me to leave my house? And then her house start to push her down the road. <laughs> <laughs> only in shadow puppetry. Only, only in shadow puppetry. So Bafana, she, what's she going to do? She picks up her house. No, the house doesn't pick her up. She goes around the other side. Other side, and she picks up the house and puts it on her back. Good. <laughs> and she sets off to find those three kings and some kind of sacred child. <laughs> well, she goes across the river and she comes to a house and she knocks on the door. And a neighbor answers and the neighbor says, what do you want? It's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and Papa said, oh, 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 school, school, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I, you know, I was looking for three kings. Have you seen three kings? And the neighbor said, three kings? Yeah, they have the nut house, which is where you should be too. Oh, oh. And the neighbor rolled away, and the house disappeared. And Papa said, fine, fine. I'm never going to visit you again. She went over the mountains. She knocked on another door. What do you want? Don't you see how busy here? Oh, 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 inside the house you could hear a, a kid crying. There was a kid in there. But Bada, she said, hey, hey, you seen any sign of maybe a sacred child? And the mama said, want to take mine? <laughs> <laughs> Dirty, shut up! Oh, 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 that was enough, that was enough. The mommy in the house disappeared, and Bafana she said, okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Now, unbeknownst to her, all this time, Bafana had been followed by Jack Ross. Yeah, you know him. He's so cold. He's got icicles coming off his nose. In my head. <laughs> so cold that one touch. Oh, oh. And, and turn your house into an ice box. He's so cold. He just reached into the hearts of all the neighbors and he turned them against her. Oh, he was cold. He was cruel. He was bad. And he was following the fauna because, you know, anybody who sets out on a heroic journey like this, you know, they're going to have problems, right? Yeah, and it was exactly. Jack Frost's job to be the problem. <laughs>